Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, no face cam today. I am once again dealing with hay fever and I look awful. <laughs> but uh, I did want to uh, to look at the Wuthering Waves dev notes uh, that they released, I guess technically yesterday at this point. Um, there is some really cool stuff in here, like genuinely. I don't, I don't know what they have planned for 1.4. I was once again hoping that they would do a live broadcast or something like that. Uh, I don't think we're going to get that. <laughs> this more or less confirms for me that we're not likely to get that. Uh, I haven't read through all of it yet, but there were some cool things in that I want to, uh, to highlight and talk about and share with you guys. See what your thoughts are on it. Okay, so... Uh, they start off by saying, thank you for your continued support, obviously. Uh, when the Night Knocks, which is the update that they teased with the Camellia weird in a dream, but also reality, but also in-game video that <laughs> they dropped. Uh, pretty crazy. Uh, but when the Night Knocks, that's the 1.4 update. Uh, we're getting a devs message. Okay. Uh, in the update, we're adding new gameplay elements and exciting new feature and optimizations to enhance your experience. Very cool. Uh, so the new combat mechanism is Dream Link, which if you've played uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, <laughs> uh, this, this will look similar uh, to you. Uh, and it, it's kind of exactly what it looks like. It's... Uh, you're getting a synergy attack with the three resonators that you have in the party. Uh, so when certain conditions align during combat, Dream Link will activate and dramatically amplify your team's combat prowess. Uh, which is cool. That's really cool. It, not only does it look incredible, uh, <laughs> I'm sure it will do big numbers and be very satisfying. Uh, but it looks really cool. That's, that's the one thing I had always wanted to do. Uh, in like Genshin Impact, was uh, it was is there a way to get all of my team on the field at the same time? There you go. <laughs> uh, unironically, and I'm not just name dropping Genshin. I'm just, I'm just saying that that's what I wanted to do when it came out. Uh, but now we're getting it uh, in Wuthering Waves. We're getting a team attack, which is super cool. Uh, I'm very excited about that both aesthetically and what it means in terms of the combat. Uh, and I like that they keep upping the combat uh, in, in terms of like how everything meshes. Because I think that this will actually start to inspire legitimate team comps. Because right now it's just kind of like we'll throw, throw all good things on a team and then just hit stuff, right? You get your good healer, uh, you get a good sub DPS, and then you get a good main DPS. There's not really like an elemental advantage that's been overwhelmingly obvious outside of like the tower. Uh, but just in general play on the field and stuff like that. I feel like you just kind of throw good stuff at enemies and dodge when you need to. But this might this might change that a little bit, which is really exciting. So I'm I'm excited to see what this means for team comps for sure. Uh the next thing is the Overdrive Combat Elusive Sprint. Uh, <laughs> in the main event of version 1.4, you can pick up the White Cat's Blessing to enter the Elusive Sprint state that increases your movement speed. Um, Lumi, who I think is the new 4-star Resonator, uh, has her own unique ability for this, which is cool. So they're doing stuff with 4-stars. Um... Uh, what's is her name? Yuhu, Yuhu, I think she's out or was out. I don't remember. She is the new four star that they showed off. Uh, she actually had uh, a new mechanic with her her alt, which was neat. Uh, and now we're getting another four star. I think I think she's a four star. Pretty sure she's a four star. Uh, who's getting a new unique ability? Which is neat, too. Uh, and obviously, I think... Shorekeeper kind of had her own little special fast movement thing. 
Um, but that's cool. And anytime they're they're willing to talk about the elusive realm, uh, I like that a lot. <laughs> uh, so anyway, when certain requirements are met, instead of dodging, Lumi will dash uh, instead of like you know, dodging and stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then you can see her down here. She's doing a fast run instead of the the sprint dodge type mechanic. Uh, these new gameplay mechanics will be available in the main event version in 1.4. Once the main event concludes, it will be added as a permanent event where the gameplay mechanics will still be available. Neat. Uh, this is the thing I read that sent me over the edge. <laughs> uh, weapon cosmetics. We're getting weapon skins. Or lack thereof as well. I'll explain. Uh, so in 1.4, we're getting a new customization feature of weapon projections, which is basically how you can make any echo you have the shiny variant, right? So long as you have acquired the shiny variant for that type of echo, um, you can kind of change the appearance of it, right? It's a skin. Well, this is doing that for every weapon type as well. Uh, it lets you transform the appearance of your weapons without affecting their stats, allowing you to create a look that's entirely your own. Very cool. Uh, participate in the main event of version 1.4 to obtain the free weapon projection associated with the event featuring a 4-star. Uh, additionally, we're adding transparent <laughs> weapon projections. This is what was wild. So, not only are we going to get weapon skins, we're going to be able to have the option to just take them away altogether. Um, available for all five weapon types, you can use transparent weapon projection to turn the equipped weapon completely or partially invisible. Which I think, uh, for rectifiers or, uh, gauntlets, that could be really cool. Like, really cool. Uh, cause, let's, let's be honest, aesthetic is the end game of any gotcha, right? So if it looks cool, and it feels good, you win the game. <laughs> That's kind of how I see it. Uh, we hope that these new options let you add even more personality uh, to your Resonator's looks, which is cool. Uh, participate in the 1.4 Depths of Elusive Realm to obtain a complete set of transparent weapon projections for free. Uh, so here you can see they're doing the skin on the sword. I think that's the new event one. This uh, pink, white-ish cat, cat paw thing. And then you can see the blade is... <laughs> Just straight up invisible, which is kind of wild. Again, I don't know how I feel about that with you know actual blade type weapons, but I think for you know like rectifiers, which kind of feel uh, odd to just kind of float around sometimes, depending on what they look like. Uh, I think Jaja's weapon felt kind of bulky and weird, just hanging around. For example, uh, or gauntlets. You know, obviously instead of having you know. I think the invisible stuff will work wonders for that. <laughs> I don't know about the bladeless sword, though. It's still cool, but I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe if the the color of the weapons don't mesh well with character skins? Question mark. Maybe we get character skins in the future. Uh, and then the whole the color palette's all thrown up. Maybe then. That could be a good option for it. But they're thinking about it, and I like that. <laughs> Uh, we're getting some gaming optimizations, right? Uh, we're getting double rewards. So when you clear, uh, you can now spend double uh, and get double rewards, which is great. Uh, a step-by-step -step echo upgrade to enhance your term uh, or long-term gaming experience. Version 1.4 introduced a series of leveling-related optimizations as part of an ongoing project. Uh, in this update, you'll be able to fast travel directly to any location of a tacit suppression or boss challenge via the map. Uh, I didn't think that was a huge issue, to be honest. But, you know, I, fast traveling where you want to go is always better, I guess. Instead of having to run a little bit from a nearby location. Uh, additionally, you have the option to spend double the weight plates. That's what I was talking about seconds ago. Uh, to earn double rewards from Forgery, Simulation, Tacit Suppression. Uh, we've also improved the display of results screen, giving you a clear version of the rewards you've earned. Uh, so there you go. It's 
120 or 60 double excellent uh, last but not least in 1.4 you can conveniently upgrade the echo to the exact levels to unlock new substats uh, through the auto select setting this is kind of nice that's kind of nice uh, as someone who just kind of rolls on a on a, like a promising looking echo to completion it it will save time <laughs> it's just gonna save time so that's nice I like that uh, very cool and you don't have to you know do a little over the level cap or you know whatever uh, interface related optimizations wave plate info pop-up echo info pop-up and tower adversary uh, adversity interface adjustments uh, you'll receive a pop-up displaying the amount of wave plates and wave plate crystals you own boom whenever you log in very cool that's helpful instead of having to go to the map I guess but I typically start off at the map anyway when I log in um, but it's nice they're they're improving the UI I like that uh, the display information for a newly absorbed echo will be optimized upon absorption the echo sonata effect category uh, will be displayed with its main stat and substat that's huge actually this is actually pretty huge uh, love that <laughs> now if we could lock them from that initial point that would also be better because <laughs> I, I think you still technically have to go into the menu and lock them uh, you can't I don't think you can just lock them from obtaining them uh, but maybe in the future that could be something that they look at very cool uh, and then the current version, adjusting your team lineup in the Tower of Adversary requires leaving and re-entering. Are they getting rid of that? Please tell me they're getting rid of that. To improve this, we've optimized the interface to the upcoming version, allowing you to view and adjust your team directly within the tower. Thank you. As someone who doesn't even mess with Tower of Adversity half the time, it's so annoying. <laughs> uh, apart from the above, more optimizations are in the pipeline, along with more gameplay elements and features. Please stay tuned. Uh, and then just a little disclaimer, you know, everything is still in development, yada yada. Uh, so very cool. Very good stuff. Um, some things that, you know, didn't personally bother me might bother some other people. Uh, but this is awesome. That is actually so sick. I love that they're doing that. I love the team attack. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the version 1.4 update dev talk. Uh, I'm pumped. I hope you are as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to come back for more Wuthering Waves uh, whenever I cover it in the future. Or just anything in the channel. Thanks. I'll see you next time.